Hey what is going on everybody this is Awaits back with another tutorial. So in this quick tutorial I'm gonna show you how to properly watermark your images. I'm gonna create a text box watermark which is going to be really basic but you will get an idea and then we will convert that to a brush so we can use that on any image we want. And then I will show you the automatic way how to apply a watermark on hundreds of images at once. I'm gonna go and create a new file so click on file click on new the shortcut key for that is Control n and then just choose the default photoshop size click ok and then let's create a text so i'm gonna select my text tool and then type a so this is going to be my watermark right so if you have any logo you can use that and by following these steps but for this video i'm just creating a simple watermark let's bring that in the center you can and then I'm gonna create a circle around it so let's create a circle around it hold your spacebar to align that in the center yeah that looks fine and then I will get rid of the fill color and apply a stroke to it so I wanna apply black stroke as well and let's zoom in control plus to zoom in alright so now I'm gonna increase the stroke size a little bit select that selection tool by pressing A or you can click there and then increase your shape stroke to about here that's fine and I'm gonna create that as a brush now so let's press ctrl 0 to zoom out get rid of this background layer because we just need this A and circles right so we don't need that white color at the background so now it's perfectly as a watermark so we can use that in a brush on any other image or I can apply that as a PNG on multiple files so let's go and create that brush click on edit menu click on define brush preset and name it water mark all right so the watermark is done let's go and select the brush and let's find out if we have that here all right so we have that here now that's 438 our brush size all right so now I've got my watermark done I'm gonna save that as a PNG so I'm gonna click on export a quick export as PNG and let's create a file called watermark.png make sure that you type PNG or you select the PNG file format here so click save it is going to save that as a PNG now as you can see that I've got that there Alright, so now I'm going to close this file and then let's open another image. I'm going to open this image now and let's select our brush tool. And in the brush selection, I've got this my watermark brush there, so I'll make sure I select that. And now if I click, it will watermark that image. The reason why I made my watermark as a brush is because I can change the color whenever I want. So I'm going to control Z to undo and let's select this eyedropper tool and I'm going to select maybe a white color a bit of orange and then I'm gonna select my brush and let's increase our watermark in the middle and let's create a new layer so we can move or we can apply opacity to it I'm gonna click and let's decrease the opacity alright so this is our watermark now perfectly done all right so now you can use that brush anywhere on any image all you have to do is open the image and apply that brush all right so now i'm going to close this file and i will show you how to apply that watermark on multiple images at once so let's close this and let's open a new file i'm going to go open this file now all right so now i'm going to start making an action so click on windows menu click on action all right so the first thing you do is create a new action click here and then name it watermark and then now you need to know what step are you going to take because once you hit record it's going to record everything what you do with the image all right so i'm going to click on record the first thing what i'm going to do here is create a new layer and then click here and you can place that png file let's say if i click on watermark png file that will bring that png file here i can increase the size of my png file and hit enter to apply that i'm gonna go and select both layers by holding shift key and let's align that watermark click on center and that's perfectly fine now 
and our action is done I'm going to apply some opacity to our watermark so let me select that watermark and let's say apply that a little bit opacity maybe increase the size of it all right so I'm gonna make sure that I've got selected the watermark layer control T to transform hold on your shift key and just increase the size and let's just align that in the center again press enter and that's pretty much it is you need to do i'm going to click on this stop action button now and we have created our watermark action these are the steps we took so now let's go and apply that watermark to different images all right so i'm going to close this i'm not going to save that file and let's click on file menu go to scripts and click on image processor you need to select the folder where your images are so my images are in watermark brush folder so click ok and then here you can choose the quality of those images you can save them as jpeg or psds down here you need to check action run all right and then select that watermark action which we just made before and then click run photoshop is going to open every single image and apply those actions to our images and save them as a jpeg all right so our action has been completed now i'm gonna go to my file explorer and we're gonna locate that folder all right so as you can see that the photoshop automatically created that jpeg folder i'm gonna open that and let's open the files so now as you can see that all my images have been watermarked with the same alignment and same uh, opacity which is really cool I guess like if you have like thousands of images and you can't just sit down and watermark every single image to protect so it's a good way that you can watermark all your images that's it for this video guys and I hope you guys like it if you have any question you can follow me on twitter at awaysmerza01 and you can ask me any question in the comments below subscribe to the channel like share and i'll talk to you guys in the next video